Hey guys, Kathy, North Star Prep Stetter. Well, today I'm going to make a very easy, quick bread that you put in your blender. It is dairy-free, grain-free, gluten-free, paleo bread. It's very good. It's a, it's a little denser bread, but it's something that you can eat. And I have to make an egg casserole, or in the north here in Minnesota, we call it an egg bake. And I need this bread for that, because normally I, just, I don't eat bread, but I'm making this for an event. So the first step is I have to make the bread for it. I'm preheating my oven to 325, and I have to put a pan of water in the oven so that can bring moisture and keep the bread moist as it's baking. The pan I'm using is kind of fun. It's, it's uh, all dimpled and everything. It helps to release the bread a little bit more. And I believe it is a four and a half inch by 10 inch pan. It doesn't say on here, but I did get it on Amazon. Norpro is the brand. It works very, very well for this recipe. Okay, I lightly sprayed the inside and then I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. I have some narrow strips here. This is really to help lift it out once it's done. There, that's ready to go. I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is fill up my blender container with the ingredients. I'm gonna start with the eggs. So anybody with an egg allergy, um, this is not for them. And I'm gonna crack them into this little bowl one at a time. Whoops, see now if I had added that one to, it's got a lot of blood in there. I don't want to have that in the bread. If I cracked that into already like a half a dozen eggs in here, I would have ruined all the eggs. So, try again here. Next thing is some almond milk. Now I have some homemade almond milk. If you don't have an issue with dairy, you can certainly use regular milk. I would recommend a whole milk though. Apple cider vinegar. I like to get the organic with the mother in here so you can see how things are floating around. That's the best vinegar to have. Then we need cashews. I really like this brand. Um, I order it directly from them. It's cheaper than ordering on Amazon. So it's food to live. They have a lot of good nuts. This is, how big is this? This is a four pound bag of cashews, and I think it was about $30, $30, something like that. But this will last me a year. And um, the raw cashews and organic. I'm just gonna add that to the blender. Whenever you are blending anything, you want to make sure the liquid is on the bottom. You don't put the dry things in the bottom first because it's really hard to end up incorporating everything. So I need one teaspoon of sea salt. I really like this Celtic sea salt, but you can use a Himalayan salt, you can use whatever. Just try to stay away from the table salt. And baking soda. Now if you remember from your science, Vinegar and baking soda, 
cause things to foam up and rise. So that is how you get the bread rises in this recipe. Okay, I'm gonna blend it on low for about 15 seconds. Scrape down the sides. It's looking actually really good. Now I'm gonna blend it for another 30 seconds on high. Okay, so that is very nice and smooth. I'm gonna show you how, how it's looking in here. Can you see? Yeah, it's just, you can see even the residue, there's no, there's no grit on there. It's very nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm gonna add the coconut flour. I like to add the coconut flour, keep it blending, and just add it through the top up here. It can continue to blend and work well that way. Starting to get just a little too thick for it to blend in here well, so I'm going to add a little bit more liquid. So I have a little bit more almond milk left. Put a little bit in here to help that incorporate. The one thing you want to be able to do is to have it pulled down, you know, kind of its little whirlpool thing when it's down there. Now remember, coconut flour gets thicker the longer it sits in here. It's, it, it takes a little while to absorb, but when it does, it's very quick when it when that happens. So I want to incorporate all of that. You can see how it's getting really nice and thick. Okay, this is very thick, it's done, ready to go, and I'm just gonna pour it right into the pan here that we have lined with par parchment paper. And this is what it looks like in the loaf pan. So now I'm just gonna put this in the oven. Okay, the bread is in the oven and we cook it for about an hour. Most high-speed blenders have a stationary blade in them. If you can see that. The blade is already attached, you don't remove it. So you're wondering, it's like, how do I clean that after using it? Well, this is the manufacturer's recommended way of cleaning it. You put about one cup of water in there, just a little drop of soap, and then turn it on for half a minute. There, and now it's nice and clean all under the blade, and um, I just hand wash the rest of it now and dry it. So that makes it so easy to clean it out. to my channel checking out how you make some paleo bread I hope that you get a chance to try this sometime it's so easy and quick and it freezes really really well so if you can only use a fourth of the loaf or something I often cut it in halves or fourths and freeze them by sections then I can bring it out when I need it hey if you like what you saw please like subscribe comment and feel free to share it with your friends and family so from the kitchens of the North Star Prepstetter, I thank you so much for coming. You guys take care. God bless.
have hope. Bye-bye.